summer weather favors a close on 71,000 people representing all walks of life and many nationalities who found Dublin's famed Croke Park on September the 1st for the 1957 All-Ireland Hurling Final. As tradition dictates, the ever-colorful proceedings open with the playing of the minor final and this year the boys of Tipperary and Kilkenny provide a treat of fast, good hurling that is but an appetizer for the real feast that the men of Waterford and Kilkenny are to serve in an incident-packed, thrilling senior decider. In the minor game, Tipperary, with ten wins already to their credit, are most fancy to win, due in no small measure to the presence of senior experienced Jimmy Doyle and his younger brother Paddy. Victory is theirs all right, but only after a stiff testing hour against a Kilkenny team that fights back from being six points behind to making the Munster boys really struggle for their goal win with a score of 4-7 to 3-7. are not Tipperary lads either. See the dash and craft of Kilkenny's Eddie Kerr, one of the chief architects of a revival that brings excitement, but not victory. And so the tension mounts. The parade of the senior teams, the Artane Boys Band, the Black Raven Pipers, and the men of Kilkenny in their striped black and amber jerseys, and the men of Waterford in their white with blue collars and cuffs. His Lordship, Most Reverend Dr. Kine, Bishop of Meath, is escorted onto the field by the President of the GAA, and soon the crowd is facing the tricolor for the national anthem. And so the stage is set for this thrilling game, and at the throw-in, every possible vantage point seems to have been taken up. And in these first few minutes, Waterford, the team that swept aside Limerick, Cork and Galway on their march to the final, look like sweeping the Kilkenny men aside too. And although Kilkenny do attack, there's no doubt whatever that in these early stages, Waterford are the dominant force. And in the third minute of the game, their captain, Philly Grimes, scores their second point. Back come Kilkenny with a point by Mick Kenny. This is the first of a series of scores which turn the whole game right around, and is he excited? Dennis Heastrup gets the ball on the wing. Into his hand, and over the bar. Kilkenny again, but this is a tough, hard Waterford defense. John Sutton to Mick Kenny, and here she comes again. Another point for Kilkenny. And it's Mick Kenny again to stretch the lead to 1 4 to 2 points after 16 minutes of play. John Clousey is pushed off the ball, and Austin Flynn makes a clearance. This shot by Philly Grimes goes wide. And here come a series of dramatic saves by Kilkenny goalkeeper Ali Walsh. who have trailed so long in this first half are fighting back in dramatic fashion. Billy Grimes, a long shot, a high shot, and a straight shot over the bar. John 
on Kylie's turn to narrow the gap. One five to four points in favor of Kilkenny, but Waterford are fighting back. Billy Grimes, another point, and the gap is narrower, and Johnny McGovern is down injured, but this Bennett's bridge man is made of stern stuff, and soon he's back in the fray again. And now here's drama in the Kilkenny goal. An attack around the goal, the ball is in the net, the score is disallowed, but seconds later, Waterford have scored a goal, and seconds after that, they've taken the lead, 1-6 to 1-5 at the interval. The score-happy second half is hardly on before the thrills begin. Donald Whedon takes a shot, and it's a Waterford goal. By just one point once more. Whedon again, and another Waterford goal. Around this time, Waterford are hurling really wonderful stuff, and Frankie Walsh increases their lead. And it's tit for tat as Mick Kenny sends over a Kilkenny point. Donal Whelan again, and a Waterford point. And this time it's Tom Chasty, the scorer for Waterford, to increase their lead to 3-10 to 2-7, and surely this cup must be going to Munster. Back come Kilkenny. Billy Dwyer gets the ball, works his way past the backs, and soon that ball is in the back of the Waterford net. But Waterford attack again, and Philly Grimes increases their lead. Back in Kilkenny, and McKenney scores a point. And once again, it's Waterford's Philly Grimes with another point. Mickey Kelly sends the ball to McKenney. The ball is crashing to the net for a goal that changes the whole complexion of the game. Kill Kenny trail by one point. Mickey Kelly to Sean Clawsey. Clawsey's shot is blocked down. He takes another shot and it's over the bar for the equaliser. Seconds later, Mikey Kelly, the captain, sends over the point that makes Kilkenny the champions with the score 410 to 312. And so, with the crowd cheering for all their worth, the Kilkenny captain is chaired off the field with the Cup of Championship Honor.